what is drag coefficient? Drag coefficient. Hmm. It is a dimensionless constant used to quantify the drag force relative to the speed, density of the medium, and the shape of the object. Before we begin, we must investigate the existence of drag force, and the easiest way to demonstrate that is through a kite flying experiment. Naturally, the kite will fall due to gravity. However, when the kite is pulled by a running person, drag force is produced. The drag force combined with the lift force, a special case of drag force pointing upwards, will actually lift up the kite, which allows the kite to fly, seemingly defying the laws of gravity. How does the density of the medium affect the drag force? First, we see a person running on dry land, the medium here being air with relatively low density as she experienced little drag force. And now we see a person trying to run in the water, having greater difficulty achieving the same results due to the larger drag force from the larger fluid density. We can conclude that higher density will result in a higher drag force. Let's talk about area. In this experiment, we have two pieces of paper, one crumbled to decrease the surface area. The uncrumbled paper has longer air time because the larger surface area creates a larger drag force to counteract the gravitational force. Another example of the area and the drag is that of the arrow. Arrow is designed to have the maximum travel distance. By minimizing the horizontal surface area, thus minimizing the retarding drag force, the arrow will experience smaller horizontal deacceleration and thus longer travel distance. Lastly, there is a relationship between relative velocity and the drag force. Here, we attempt to move a bar of soap with different speed of wind. First, we use our own breath producing low speed wind. However, the low velocity was not able to produce enough drag force to overcome the frictional force of the table. On the second try, we use cans of compressed air, producing a much higher relative velocity, and successfully pushes the soap box across the table, confirming the correlation between drag force and relative velocity. Now do you know what the drag coefficient is? Yeah! yeah!